verbal. We have complete unresponsive, again, think like cardiac arrest, and then right, me right now, alert and oriented. Now, what's one step down? Well, what I think about is like a dementia patient. They're, they're fine, but they're confused, right? This is the confusion level. They're speaking in full sentences. They're just confused. They just are not aware, not aware of what's going on. That's confusion. That's four points. Now, these two, there's no reason to mess these two up, but everyone forgets them. Here's what it is. So confusion means I'm speaking in full sentences, but I'm unaware of what's going on. I'm just confused. Right? Think about, like, again, a dementia patient. Inappropriate words means that, let's say you're asking a patient a question, and there are just random words. It does not make any sense as far as the conversation, and also can be looked at as just random one to two words being spewed out, right? You're, it, it, you're able to understand it, but it's inappropriate to, to the actual situation. But you're getting words out. That's inappropriate words. Now, number two here, before I'm responsive, I want you to think sounds, not words. Okay, that's how I remember it. So we're still getting out words here at three. And number two, it's like, it's, you know, it's grunting. It's just noises, right? So the, your verbal, you're still able to make some sort of speech, but it's not words, it's not sentences, you're not confused, it's just noises are coming out of your mouth. It's in wor it is sounds, not words, it's noises. Ones are unresponsive, nothing, okay? So we can picture that patient as they go down to unresponsive, right? Words, sounds, confusion. Confusion, words, sounds. That's how you remember it.